Hello, welcome to episode eight. This is Strat Chat, and my name is uh, Martin, and we are in the middle of uh, playing as uh, Finland for no better reason than you never ever see anybody really playing Finland. Uh, we're going to unite the Finns. Uh, we are going to define the Finns as anybody with a culture which includes the word Finn in it. So you've got the, the Balto Finnics, but you've got other other groups that have, that have mixed with Finn. They've got, they've got part Finnic culture. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a realm which includes all of those. We're going to form a new empire. We might do that in today's episode. And we are going to include also people who have a Finnish language. So I think um, the people the people out here kind of ustig kind of way they speak a Finnic language, but they don't have a Finnish culture. But we're going to we're going to include those. Okay. Uh, and I think one of the first things that we're going to I mean, we've got lots of bits and pieces. One of the first things we're going to do is is probably take one more county so we can form the kingdom of um, of Sap Me. So, without further ado, let's shrink my head and get started. Okay, I think the first thing we obviously we've got to look at this, our domain holdings. So, where have we got these? Because it's not from the new territory, because we conquered this last time, didn't we? These are my core ones. Ah, they're over here. Okay. So... I think we should find someone. Let's, let's give them to someone who's loyal and I like. Actually, let's give them. Right. He doesn't hugely like me, does he? So let's give him, them to him. See if we can get him to like us a lot more. I'm going to make him the Duke. If I give him that one, that one, that one, I think he's going to like us quite a lot. Okay, super. Right, good. Right, 100. Now, another thing is I want Pylinin back. Now, my father was the Count of Pylinin, but my brother got it. And I do have a claim on it, but I can't revoke it because I'm allied to him. What I can do, I suppose, is murder him. It's only 14%. And I am beginning to feel a bit guilty about just murdering people because it's the best thing. Because obviously in real life you don't murder your brother just because, um, you know, you might make something out of it. So what is my character like? Gregarious? That's kind of friendly, isn't it? Ambitious? That might lead to somebody. And calm. So my, my gut feeling here actually is that King Mealty the Proud wouldn't, wouldn't murder his own brother. What a shame. All right, because what I was thinking about doing, I have 40% doesn't look amazing, but I was thinking about doing is simply going to offer guardianship and just picking somebody that I that I trust. Um, or maybe somebody I've got a hook on. But, okay, we're not going to do that, so we're not going to do that. Okay, right, what other things we got to deal with here? We've obviously got some prisoners to ransom. Um, right, I think we could do with the money, so we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna do them all. I can create this duchy. Now this is the three counties I've literally just given to my uh, to my man. I suppose the benefit is yeah, well he's gonna really like me, isn't he? Let's go. Let's just go for it. Let's build it, and then we'll grant it to my brother-in-law and. Spy master. Okay, super. Okay, so he should really, really like us. He should be really, really loyal. Give us no trouble, and hopefully he'll pass on a little bit of um, a little bit of money to us. Let's have a look at our most powerful vassals. Um, this chap doesn't hate us too much. She does. So who is she? Why is she? Actually, she's also my rival. She has. She's the high chief. She's the Duchess, essentially of where. So she's the chief of Giamuka. A number of rivals under her. Quite tempted to murder her. I think it's okay to murder her. I don't feel guilty murdering her. Right, let's do it. Uh, we got some agents joined straight away. Right, what can we do to improve this? Obviously, we can get this new chat, this chap to support us. Uh, we can't change her to court intrigue because it will. Re because she's not that good at it anyway. But also she's so much more valuable um, adding to my stewardship at the moment. All right, 
There we go. That's that feels like we've done everything. Okay. We're saving up prestige, even though it would be tempting to do buildings and, and things like that. Let's just let my army come back up to full strength. And let's see, let's do the rest of these prisoner ransoms. Have I got any other prisoners? Almost certainly. Okay. Okay, it's a girl. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll invite her to our court and we'll recruit her. Um, no doubt she'll be useful at some point in the future. <coughs> right, we definitely want to recruit this lady. Um, you know, she's got some physician skills and she's marriageable. Um, this lady also we will recruit because she is marriageable. Uh, she's already married, so and she's um, she's possessed. Probably best we send her home. Oh, now here's a chap. My word, can we recruit him? Oh, we could get money for him, but I think recruiting is the best thing here. Be an excellent court tutor. Let's let's hire him for that then. Right. What can we get? Okay, first let's just check our council. All these are very good. The only thing we have a little bit weak is the Chancellor. And we can improve him slightly, but I wonder if we can find somebody. I mean, he's a lot better. Right, we're going to get a better Chancellor. And then I think we're just going to look for people with martial ability. Prowess, by which I mean. 19. Right, look, what is our Marshals? What are, marshals? What are our um, guys like? So our worst champion is 13. Okay, now interestingly, I want to have the, a Vanguard Accolade. And the reason I want that is because very, very soon I'm going to be able to build heavy infantry. And, and these archers are really good, but the heavy infantry are going to be better and they're going to work well together anyway. And if I have Vanguard... I can build these extra large ones, just like I'm able to build these extra large archer uh, regiments. I'm going to be able to build extra large ones. So I think this is a really good idea to recruit this guy. Because he is hail, that's one of the requirements for uh, Vanguard. Matrilineal marriage? Yeah, perfect. I'm really, really happy about that. Have I got space for a second accolade? No. So I need to do that. Okay. Unlock via innovations, dynasty legacies, and higher tiers. Okay, so I will need a second one. Okay, I think Banus gives... So actually, you know what? 17 years, we'll have Banus, and that'll give us an additional accolade. So that's good. Or if I become an emperor, and I might not be that far off becoming an emperor. Um, I think there's another one in a later tribal era, but um, obviously we're a long way off from that. And the other the other one is the, is the glory... Um, let's have a let's have a look at that. The legacies. I mean, I've not even I've gone down law for some reason, haven't I? Glory, I think it has it somewhere. Um, yeah, accolades available plus one. It may be a little while until we can do it, but it's it's something that we're certainly going to be able to do at some point. If I just zoom in on my Norse County here. With my uh, steward working very hard there to put, put them all together. We'll just have a look at Norse and we'll see where we are. 36. So it won't be too long until we have access to it. Okay. Right. Oh, is the military up to full strength? Not quite. I'm really liking that most of this duchy is one realm. I suppose it's worth seeing if I can vassalise him. No, because he's at war. Okay. But so I want to go for the duchy, and then I can give it to one of my councillors. He's got no money. He's really, really, really struggling. Um, he's involved in war. I should know what that war is. Okay, so it's the, it's the, the conquest of a county. Okay. Should we do it? I think so. Right, we're going to have to start right up here, I think, somewhere. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so let's raise all men at arms. So I'm with a little bit of luck. We'll get some, get some uh, prestige. Right, great expectations. Okay, King Queen Gila approaches me with a friendly smile. I love you. Seen how majestic Arturi is becoming. So, this is the boy who I don't think is being that majestic, and I'm rather keen for his brother. 
to take over. Um, but you know what? He's not too bad. Um, he could practically rule this nation one hand tied behind his back, and I swear by old man, he'd make you very proud. She gives me a side glance, of course. If there's anything I could do in order to make the idea more enticing, I'm sure you'd let me know. We could come to some sort of an agreement, my fair soulmate. So, um, I'm very interested in more useful courtiers. So, Gala will offer you a selection of skilled courtiers. Or, I don't need anything from you, Gala. Um, doesn't seem to me to be much in the way of a benefit to that, so I think I'll just, just go with that one. Here we go. Persona Grata. Gaela catches up with me once more. Soulmate, I come bearing news. She hurries to my side, unveiling a soft sheet with a collection of scribbles while doing so. These fine people will be most pleased to come to work for you here at our court. I glance at the sheet, some impressive sets of skills. I'll give her that. So what I'm interested in is, is that, that, that she's not going to be trying to murder me, will, is she? And, I, and even my son, I don't think, would be trying to murder me or anything like that. So I think we're okay. Okay, so this guy would be one a really good physician and he's a witch I like it this chap is an impressive chancellor and this lady is not even as good as the one that I've got I'm going for this one I think yeah my a son Milty seems to have been having a difficult time uh, at our latest feast. He buried his face in his food. The only talking he did was asking for serving after serving. Okay, so do we want him to be gluttonous? No, I don't. Especially as I think he's probably the he might well be the one we end up with. Um, I could change him to impatient. Then he's in the learning tree, so I don't really want to jeopardise that. Or I could go shy. Do you know what? Um, I mean, how bad is gluttonous? Stewardship down to... It's pretty bad. All of these are bad options. No. Okay, he can stay gluttonous. I'm really disappointed. Um, okay. Gaila smiles triumphantly in my direction as I stride towards her. She winks. Now for the end of the bargain, my king. Okay, she winks. Okay, so... It is the honourable thing to do. Your capacity to scheme concerns me, my dear. Technically, she didn't finish the job. Okay, so. It's the honourable thing to do. She, uh, My son will lose 50 opinion of me. Oh. Child removed as heir. And I've just made him gluttonous. I mean, calm's okay. Gluttonous doesn't undo some of the other benefits that he has, I suppose. Okay. Right, well, he's, he's my heir. Uh... Right, I think we go for a quick battle there. Have I got the best um, Chancellor in place? No. Okay, let's get, let's get him in. And let's see, then, if we've got somebody better for the position of physician before we go to war. I mean... Absolutely excellent. Right, we can hopefully have a nice big battle with lots of uh, prestige. Indeed, 360. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so what's the first castle we're going to take? Well, tribal holding, I should say. Right, it's funny that he's going for my strongest force. Is that an ally join? We we'll probably need to just have a look at how strong that ally is. Ah, uh, not that strong. No, not that strong. Okay. I think we can do this. Take three at a time. Right, let's watch these uh, these tribal holdings begin to fall. So I can see, mind if I join the circle? Now this is a 50% chance of increasing his learning by one. I gain elder advice, which is oh, monthly learning lifestyle experience. Very good if I was in that uh, tree. Uh, this is sweet, but I have to leave. 20% he gets one of these. I think we'll go for this one. I mean, this way, you know, I guarantee my heir will get a benefit. Right. Um, he's a great eminence. Is his brother going to be better? 
I have to say his brother will be better. Right, let's try and murder her. I should have been looking at that more carefully. Uh, she's dead. Trampled by her own subjects. Many, many peasants were hanged, including my agitators, which means it'll never be traced back to me. Okay, so, a fa so that's got rid of this faction. I've inherited this ridiculous gemstone. Let's have a look at it. Um, plus two learning a month. Okay. So that's improved my learning quite considerably. Why am I still in this tree? Um, right, who can, I, who can I befriend? Right, let's look at my most powerful vassals. Okay, let's befriend this chap here. Dislikes gregarious and ambitious people. You know, look, it's better than 50-50. I quite like the idea of having him as a friend. Are there any other schemes, any other factions? None that I'm particularly worried about. Okay. Okay, so we got one siege one. Let's go for the capital. Lots of prisoners. Second siege, and that's enough to win. Okay. So I could form the duchy... I've only got the one territory here. I'm not quite sure why, where I've got the other one from. Oh, I've got this one because I murdered that lady. Right, so I'm the high chieftain there. So let's just let's just grant this to uh, a random Corellian. This I want to give to one of my one of my council. Now this is going to be my granddaughter. She's the current heir. Right, let's give it to him then. So we're going to grant t titles chief county of this county here and if I have the money I'll form the duchy I do have the money okay and we'll give this to him right so I've got very very loyal uh, people on the council now increasingly very very loyal people on the council I'm a little bit surprised that's not a hundred, considering I've just given him, made him a duke, married him to my daughter, and all the other things. Now I want to form the kingdom. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Um, all right, so who who have I got here? All right, whoever I give this to, the duchy to, is going to be quite an important. Do you know what? I'm going to give it to him. Offer peace. Oh, Chieftain Vigo is at war with me. So I inherited this war. Right, let's go and win this war quite quickly. So we're not going to give it to him then, are we? Okay. I'm going to give it to you. And I would have given it to the other chap if he wasn't at war with me. But there we go. Uh, maybe I can actually get this war over. I don't really want to fight it. Okay, he will accept this. Right, let's get that war over with. Let's not let's not have that war. Okay, another faction's disbanded. Another one has formed, though. And uh, let's have a look at decisions. Found a new empire. Okay, hold three or more kingdoms. So I can form sap me when I've got a little bit more money. And then I will have Sapmi, Finland and Estonia. Do I have enough? Okay, here's something I genuinely don't know. I've, all the time I've spent playing this game, I don't know what my realm size is. I'm guessing this is the best place to look for that. Realm size 50. Okay, so if we pop down to here again, uh, found a new empire. Okay, so I'm missing lots of things, but your realm size is 80 or more, so I need a bigger realm size. I'm soon going to have the three kingdoms. Uh, I am exalted. I'm not exalted among men, but that probably won't take that long. Okay, so exalted among men, got that soon, and then at least one of these... Realm size, over 120, that's a long way off. 
but all, all, all of these and these this is one I'm going for I need 30 more counties and I need to you know the that other that other kingdom okay all right let's have a look to see how we're doing with the Norse the Norseness that's only one percent okay so what is our next no we can start offering vassalage I mean these people will probably join us okay I haven't formed the kingdom yet I think when I formed the kingdom then that 20 will disappear um, you're not his rightful liege that'll disappear that brings us down to 27 he's stubborn I can't do anything about that well I suppose I could murder him or something cultural acceptance is a little bit of a problem but things I can work on I can work on his opinion of me which is plus 14 I can certainly get it a little bit higher my powerful vassals opinion though okay let's have a little look at my powerful vassals opinion of me let's sway TT I think the thing is to take another what about this chap he might he might be closer no he's similar he's also stubborn cultural acceptance the same hiccup hindrances there right so the people I should be swaying then are the powerful vassals because none of them are on my council I mean 95% chance of me successfully swaying him that feels like take a little while but that feels like it'll work okay so I think we need to be taking over this sort of Vespian kind of area here kingdom titles yeah pajama land let's let's take pajama land pretty tempted to start with this lady I mean will she be can I get her to uh, be vassalized probably she's only 18 um, so she's got relatively low opinion of me so I can improve that it's money isn't it Do you know what it's cheaper just to conquer her okay why have I got some extra troops I'm gonna get rid of that one because I don't want to be paying for a whole regiment this one's got five in it so I'll probably keep that one um yeah okay we'll stick him stick him there keep him there for these for these wars until we manage to what's the name with the with the Norse okay let's take this lady by force okay this should be short and swift oh okay I think we might be moving here so um confidants heart of the family thoughtful we may be using that later okay I now need to change to the learning one I think yes I want to go to the learning okay oh thanks son I'm increasingly inclined to make you my heir right my first son can marry oh hang on you can transfer oh getting rid of this chap yeah let's do it get him out of my uh, hair really he's been problematic okay so we can ransom some prisoners that's a really good idea might give us some money to form the kingdom attempt to get to recruit Shemyaka uh, a passable um, knight but also uh, a poet could be useful and I like the berserker trait in some of my knights uh, this kid's a fool let's let him go Gained a favour for Chief and Rugi. Okay, loads of people leaving my prison, which is always nice. Let's just have a look at poets. I mean, do I want a poet? Gives me a bit of cheap court grandeur, doesn't he? Right, super. So let's uh, enforce. Disband. Now, what about this county here? That's Bolto Finnick. I am going to have to fight Novgorod. So what I think I'm going to do is is wait until I got the Norse on my side, um, and I'll have some um, very very powerful troops when I declare war. This guy's got two thousand. A duchy war. I could go for Chudia. Or Ustig, which shall I go for? Right, I don't have enough piety, which is interesting. Okay. I need more piety. 
I can also form the kingdom now. Right, let's do that. Let's form the kingdom. Any better chance of offering vassalage? Oh, yes. So we don't need to go to war against these people. Yeah, very close. Okay. I need I need the money for uh, to go on a pilgrimage, I think. Yeah, okay. So I need to go on a pilgrimage. I obviously don't have enough money, so I probably need to go raiding. And I think the place I'm going to raid is Novgorod. It should be that such a strong realm has, is, is basically unlooted. But I think I'm strong enough to, to raid it. I can't find anywhere that's currently raided. So we should be able to get quite a bit of money out of this. I mean, would we go this far down? I'm not sure, if I'm honest. Look, it's 20 there. Now, that's been looted. It's un unusual in, uh, in this realm, but... There's a lot of money lying around here. Okay, so next time we're going to be raiding Novgorod. We're going to be saving up a lot of money. We're going to use that money to go on a pilgrimage so we've got enough money to declare the holy war against Ustig and take that duchy. We are going to finish a, a sway with the High Chieftain Kalev and then we're going to work on these two chaps. And we're going to bring those two places into our own realm by uh, diplomacy. That's the plan. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be doing that on Wednesday. You take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye-bye.